Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Lincoln Navigator, we're gonna be taking a look at the Kuat Envy 2.0 platform style bike rack. So the rack that we have here today on the back of our Navigator can hold up to a total of two bikes, but if you need to carry more, there's a four bike version available as well. With that being said, both of those racks are available in three different colors. So today we have the gunmetal gray, but if that's really not your style, there's also a matte black as well as a metallic black. So my first impression of the rack on the back of the Navigator is I think it looks really good actually. If it were me, these Navigators are really well built and really stylish, so I would want a rack to match it. And I think the Kuat does just that. When it comes to the quality of construction and the fit and finish, Kuat is definitely one of those at the top of the list. So a rack you really can't go wrong with. But with that being said, one of the big questions we do get asked all the time in regards to these hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna be able to have full access to the back of your SUV. And this one does actually fold down and allow us to do that. You can even do it with the bikes on there. So the way it would work is you just take this lever, lower it down, and then you can come around here and open up your hatch. That way you're able to get whatever you may need in and out of the back with ease. So one of the nice things about this rack too is the fact that it does come with an integrated lock on each wheel tray. So when you have your bike on here, you can keep it secure. So puts your mind at ease a little bit when you stop at the gas station or maybe a restaurant to get a bite to eat before or after the trails. You're not gonna have to kind of keep an eye on your bikes constantly. But the way it's gonna hold the bikes down is really simple and really convenient. It does a good job of doing it too. Up front here, we're gonna have a wheel hook. And in the back, we're just gonna have a strap here on this tire. So it works out real well, especially for those of you with carbon frame bikes, you're not gonna to have to worry about any damage or anything. That being said, let's take our bike off the rack. So you're just gonna push down on this lever, flip up the strap, and you always wanna start here at this back one. So we'll undo that. Then you wanna make sure to have a grip on your bike. So when you undo this wheel hook, it's not gonna be supported anymore. So you'll push down on this button, you can lift up on that wheel hook, swing it out of the way. Then we're gonna have more than enough space to grab our bike and go hit the trails. Now I do suggest whenever you don't have the bike on your rack, just to take this wheel hook and swing it back in. That way we don't have to worry about damaging it or anything like that. And something you always wanna keep in the back of your mind is whenever you have the rack on your Lincoln, it is going to extend the overall length of it. So pretty important here, I would say, because given the size of the Navigator, you probably don't have a ton of space in your garage or something like that to begin with. So we'll take a measurement. We'll go from the very back bumper to the very edge of the rack. And it looks like it's gonna be right at 33 inches. However, when you're not using it, you can fold it up into a stored position and that'll free up quite a bit of space actually. You just flip this lever, it swings up, and it looks like the furthest point is probably gonna be this right here. So take that same measurement from the bumper to it, and that's gonna be right at 16 inches. So in this position, really shouldn't give you a whole lot of issues. So moving down here, the rack is gonna work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Lincoln. And it's also gonna come included with a locking hitch pin. So that's convenient. One less thing, you're not gonna have to worry about picking up separately. And the fact that it locks, you know it's gonna be secure to the back of your vehicle. Now what's nice is if we kind of move all the way back here, we're gonna have this knob. And whenever you tighten this down, it's going to act as an anti-rattle device. So it's gonna eliminate that slop and play here in the connection point. So pretty important feature, especially with this vehicle. You wanna keep that ride nice and quiet on the inside of your Lincoln, and that's what this is gonna do. So kind of give you an example, say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is gonna move with our Navigator and not on its own. There's also something pretty cool too that a lot of other racks don't have. You don't see them on every one, and that's a place to work on your bike more or less, a little workstation. And that's what this arm is here. So when you open up this latch, you're able to kind of pull up on this arm. You can rotate it, lock it in. 
And if you loosen up this knob, you can actually set the frame of your bike in here, lock it down, and that's just gonna get it up off the ground and allow you to maybe change your tires or tighten your chain, something like that. And it just makes life a little more convenient. So at the end of the day, a really nice rack that you can't go wrong with, honestly. And personally, I think if I use it a lot, I don't even know if I would take it off the back of my Navigator. I think it really looks great and don't really take away or steal the appearance from the Navigator itself. And if you're anything like me, you always want to see the product you're interested in in action or actually working. So let's go ahead, load this up with some bikes, take it out on a test course and see how it does. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Kuat MV 2.0 platform style bike rack on our 2020 Lincoln Navigator.